Hello and good day people. Thank you for joining us here at FUN News. And this is not for fun and games. These are not jokes. We're here to keep you abreast and also at the same time entertained and a little uplifting if I may, you know, but so many disturbing things going on out here, people. So many. There's a lot of things that you'll see on these videos that you will not exist. We're living in the dawn of the living numbskulls right now. And there's all kinds of numbskulls. You've got hard rock numbskulls. Soft rock num skills, serial num skills. We bring in the new year in right this year. You heard? Stay your ass at home. Enjoy some videos. You can enjoy it with me. Come watch. Sit down, talk, and listen to me. And let me entertain you for New Year's. Because I've got some boiling stuff for you. Boiling, scolding hot. Ready to go. Right out the pan. Yeah. We bring it in the New Year right this year. This ain't hip hop news. This is my news. Follow up FUN news. Jaguar Wright says Doja Cat might be a witch. Mm. Well, all I know is that people been doing some weird stuff. And, uh, hey. When she shaved the eyebrows, I simply said, why? <laughs> but, you know, you're raising a good point because she was like, I'm done with music. I quit. I'm tired of my fans being harassed. And, and then she, she came back. <laughs> <laughs> she ain't choosing. <laughs> <laughs> One rap. Jaguar tail. Wright says Doja hey, Cat might be a witch. Music, I'm telling you. Crazy. He's back at it. Supposedly, he made a suggestion about uh, Boosie and other people wearing fingernail paint and being gay and stuff so they're going back and forth on the internet now I don't know if you guys know about Charleston White but from what I understand Soldier Boy got into it with him too and uh, it didn't work out too well but uh Afternoon and happy Friday. I'm Kara Rucker. Authorities have a suspect in custody for the high profile killings of four University of Idaho students. That's according to several new reports. This is your midday rundown aimed down the middle with Straight Arrow News. The arrest comes almost two months after the students were found murdered inside their off campus house on November 13th. Several outlets are right reporting the birthday. suspect is a man in his mid 20s who is also a college student. He was taken into custody in Pennsylvania. These details are not yet confirmed. Officials are scheduled to host a press conference later today. Local police had been joined by the FBI and state police as the investigation grew to find the killer. The case consumed headlines shaking a small city of 25,000 the week before Thanksgiving. 
Southwest is back to normal flight operations after a week of nothing short from mayhem. Thousands of flights were canceled every day this week. Today, there's been less than 40 cancellations as Southwest seems to be there. over the hump and back on track. But the chaos it's created to get to this point will linger. The federal government has expectations for the airline to meet, mostly making it up to customers who couldn't get home and still can't find their luggage. I'm that. a little hopeful just because they found theirs, so I'm, I'm sure it's here somewhere. I've never we seen went through the same like thing with JetBlue. There are many question marks surrounding what the new year will look like. And at the top of many Americans' minds is whether we will see a recession in 2023. New research from several Federal Reserve branches indicates the possibility of a recession is growing. Reports released this week detail a rising risk that the U.S. economy may fall into a recession in the coming months. There are two measurements they go by, how states' economies are performing and what the jobless rate looks like. Based on federal data, 27 states have an economy in decline, a threshold that leans to recession, according to the report. The jobless rate in the U.S. has remained fairly stable, but the report suggests that could change. As the Fed continues with aggressive rate hikes, the jobless rate could spike to 4.6% missing an A down there. 7 in November, which is why a recession isn't ruled out for the new year. The Keystone Pipeline is now up and running again. It's been closed for more than three. Now, let me tell you people what I would expect and suggest you to do for New Year's. Not overall, but anybody that uh, feels like they want to go to Manhattan, New York City, you want to see the Big Apple and the bowl drop and all of that stuff. If you haven't gotten that out of way in life, don't go. Stay your ass, stay your behind at home. Or, I don't know, go someplace local, go to a friend's house. I would not be taking no trips to New York City for anything, let alone the craziest night in the world. Okay? So, that's my suggestion for you people. If you didn't get it out the way already, it's too late. It's too late for it to be an enjoyable time. Trust me. I mean, somebody will have an enjoyable time. You know, there's millions of people. But I wouldn't pick up the dice and shake them and then roll them if I was you. So after a rupture in its line happened in Kansas, spilling roughly 14,000 barrels of oil. That's the largest leak to ever occur in the pipeline. The cleanup process is still ongoing. That so far, disgusting. about half of the lost oil has been recovered by crews. While the pipeline is operating again, it's a lot of dead it's doing animals. so at a lower pressure to ensure everything is running right. It would not surprise me at all to learn a lot that of contamination is what has caused these um, large releases. Yeah. That, um, this is crazy. Is more valuable than your time. That's why she's ridiculous. A security guard got shot in an exchange gunfire between a shoplifter. A girl that was 20 years old with a gun shoplifting TV dinners and they're both dead. So 
worried about his safety when he worked at the Giant in Austin Hill, and he promised to text or call once an hour. I knew something was wrong when I didn't get my message. Police say Willie Tate died at the scene. <laughs> His accused killer, Zayla Akita, the alleged shoplifter, died at the hospital. She was only 20. Was it really worth it? She could have just walked away just like the rest of them. Nobody was going to jail or anything, she could have just walked out the door. Just a day before his murder, Shantae yeah. Tate and her husband talked about where they saw each other in 50 years. And he said, right next to you, pushing each other in wheelchairs. Wow. So that is one of the most beautiful memories that I will have of him. Because uh. I know that was our future. And I know that he wouldn't have been any other place but by my side. Wow. That's heartbreaking. I'm sorry to hear that. I, I wish the best for her and her family and everything. It's crazy, the stuff that's going on out here. All I know is that they are running rampant and you know exactly who and what I'm talking about. Ain't getting this action in motherfucking Manhattan. No, you ain't getting this action, man. No, I told y'all, stay out. Hang out with me. You ain't want to do it. That's a fucking good idea for you. We turning it up over here, though. Yeah. Get him, Cap. Get him, Cap. The security yeah. guard got shot. Get him, Cap. In an exchange gunfire between a shot lifter, a girl that was two years old.